Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. And today we're going to show you how to further customize your charts with overlays. We're going to go over some individual overlays to show you how they work. We'll show you the different parameter settings available. And then we'll dive into advanced options with styles, colors, and opacity. So the overlays section can be found underneath the sharp chart, underneath the chart attributes section. There you will see overlays and there is a drop down menu that you can click to see all the overlays that are available. Here I'm going to select the simple moving average and the default parameter 50 fills into the parameters box, but I can easily change that to 200 if I would like. Then you can see we have style, color, and opacity. And if you don't see those, that means you need to open the advanced options there by clicking the little green icon there. So I can change the style to dashed thick if I would like, the color to red, and if I wanna make that moving average semi-transparent, I can change the opacity to 0.5. When I'm done making all those adjustments, I click update to see my new sharp chart. And there it is, a 200 day simple moving average with a dashed red line that is semi-transparent. Some overlays have more than one parameter. For instance, if I select the Kaufman's moving average, you're gonna see three parameters. And you might wonder, well, what the heck are these three parameters? Well, all of these indicators you can read about in our chart school. So if you go to the top of the page, there you will see a link for the chart school. And from the chart school, I could type in Kaufman and I would get a chart school article on Kaufman's adaptive moving average. And if I click that, I can read all about those settings to understand how I might want to adjust those parameters. I'm gonna show an example using the Bollinger Bands. If I click the overlays and select Bollinger Bands, you see I get two parameters, 20, which is the moving averages, and two, which is the standard deviation. Those are the defaults, and that's what John Bollinger uses most of the times, I believe. And so I'm gonna leave that there and click Update to see what the Bollinger Bands look like. Now I wanna show you a little technique that shows these Bollinger Bands as an area format. If you go down to your advanced options here, for style, I'm gonna choose area. Color, I'm gonna go ahead and choose pink. And then I'm gonna put the opacity at 0.3 so they don't dominate the chart. They kind of look as a shaded pink. And there you can see the result and you can see when they're widening and when they're contracting. This is a chart for XLU, the utilities SPDR, and utilities typically pay good dividends. And if we wanna see those dividends on the chart, we can go to overlays and we can select events. And the default all will fill in there. And we can see all the events, which would include dividends and splits. Also, if I wanna add a horizontal line, say there's a support level, maybe I wanna watch at 51 and 54, I can add that by adding horizontal line as an overlay and then choosing 51 comma 54 into the, entering that into the parameters box. Click update and you will see the chart now has the dividend payouts there as well as horizontal lines at 51 and 54. And of course I can change the style and the color and the opacity if I want. This is a chart here of the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield, and you can see it's at 2.67%. And I can add other Treasury yields and put them on that same scale by using the price same scale overlay. So if I click that drop down and scroll down, I click price same scale, and I'm gonna go ahead and enter UST 5Y for the five-year Treasury yield. And I'm gonna add another one and I'm gonna enter the two-year treasury yield. And these will align up on the same scale and so I can see how these yields compare to each other. And there we can see the 10-year, the two-year, and the five-year. And if you can't make out which is which, we can do a couple of things. We can change the color. So I can make one red and I can make one green and I could make the two year a dashed line as well. 
and I could click Y axis labels to see those values on the overlay. So if I click that, there we can see in green, I've got the two year at 2.51. In red, I've got the five year at 2.48. And so I can see how these yields compare. Next up, I wanna show you the chandelier exit. First, we'll use General Motors for the chandelier long. And so if you go down to the overlays, there you can see chandelier exit, and you click that, the parameters are set for the default, and you can change those. You can, of course, go to the chart school if you don't understand that. Now, by default, this is for a long position, so I don't need to add comma long. If I click update, then I will get the chandelier long exit there in blue. But if there's a different stock, say Tesla, and I wanna get a chandelier short on that, I'll click update to change this chart. So you can see I've still got chandelier long on this chart, but I want chandelier short, which would be a trailing shot stop for short positions. And if you click update there, there you can see we now have chandelier short, and it is trailing the decline in Tesla. This chart here is for Apple, and I wanna put on volume by price as an overlay. And that's good to spot potential support and resistance levels based on volume. And you can see you've got the opacity selector up there. So you can change that to auto, or if you want it lighter, you can put it to say 0.3. So if I click update, you can see I'm gonna have volume by price bars on the left. Now I can color those bars to see the volume for the up days versus the volume for the down days by going and checking the color volume box. Click update and you will see your new volume by price bars with green and red. Next, I wanna show you the zigzag indicator and how it works. So if you go to overlays, select zigzag, and the parameters box will be blank. But you can go ahead and click update because it's gonna give you the default parameters in the chart window there. So this default is 5%, and the default parameter depends on the volatility of the symbol that you're looking at. So this zigzag shows only moves that are 5% or more, the zigzags. If I wanna change that, I can go to the parameters box and choose eight and then I could make this line pink to make it stand out more on the chart. So now you can see I've got 8% zigzags on this chart. So now you have an idea of what the overlays can do to help your analysis and make better investment decisions. Thanks very much for tuning in. Good luck and good trading.